Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo. And today we are doing a 10v10 on Asgard. So let's go down the playlist. On the blue four side, we have Shin01176, The Robster420, The Aussie Fumi, Acrilla, Appleman, Rommel, Manex, Chromosan, uh, Scrooge AU, and Rawmaster Ed. All on the red four side, we have Sp Spawn Farkle, Skyman, Jaeger, Drifter Bob, Nitrix, Kyo312, Comradus, uh, Pist, P Pustmise, Pustmise, yeah, uh, Derfind, and Zero. So, let's speed things up and get things going, sorry. Not hide the HUD, let's speed it up. Mark down positions. So this is one of the newer 10v10s from, a. Uh, Airline Battle Red Dragon. It's very reminiscent of, um, I think it's, yeah, this map is called Asgard and it's very similar to, um, Asgard. I believe it was Asgard and Airline Battle. Where you had these two flanks here, the two flanks on both sides with mountain, with these hills to grow up and a bit of forest here and yeah. And then you have the middle, which has a bunch of towns all connected together. In the old Asgard and Airline Battle, there's a lot more forest here. A lot of forests instead, they are replaced with mountains. But away we go. Any planes? Any planes? Anyone gonna get any planes? Got two MiG 23 MLDs from Mr. Zero. Bit of a helicopter rush up here. Helicopters over here, just bleeding helicopters up the butt for NATO. Bloody hell, that is a, that is a lot of LOs. And we're going to have a little bit of a class here in the middle. Oh, this is going to turn, this is going to turn really ugly. Yeah, this is going to get ugly. Oh, he did do, there's a bug at the moment where he can insta-drop infantry like that. So he did take advantage of that and he did manage to unload all his guys. And these T RTSPs are going to be flying roads over enemy small arms. Oh, a little bit too close. Now that AA is coming up. Get four goddamn tools. Four of them. Nasty amount. And the packed units or red four units are going to land in there. Easy peasy like. Yeah. Infantry command vehicle. Getting shot out of the sky. And the ground units might want to get out ASAP. Up top here, his helicopter Ross seemed to go quite well. They just managed to land his infantry inside of November. And he does have it captured, so he can buy some units out ASAP. Might want to do it before that Black Hawk lands and test his own. Yeah, attack comms are down. Keeping the place neutral. MTLB 3s getting right close. Have a bunch of bouncer Jagers here. The, the the Norwegian guy, not the not the German Fatshakers, and they those ones do get Eric's ATGMs. So at the bottom, it's pretty quiet. The both sides aren't really pushing that area. You have more helicopters going into Tango. Gonna be Tango in the Tangos. Nice TTR. I want to land at she night sometime. And the Firebirds Commandos. Okay, two years well. We have forces, some NMs, a lot of Scandinavian stuff here. And the SU's getting into position. Artillery firing. Just Really hitting all too much. Up top, NATO has managed to kick out a lot of the packed Red Four forces in November. Have these uh, Lee Wrens left here, yeah, as well as these Jacko Dakies. So oh, we're gonna get a good side shot, yeah. Oh, there goes two Abrams. Very good RPGs. And they're still, they're still so in their rear end, you So those RPGs. Up. Yeah, there goes another Abrams, side-shotted. 
And this is constant RPG after RPG to his frontal armor. And that should go down, yeah. Very good flank here for Jackos. Getting some Hawks as well, some good old Hawks. Tornado ECR. We'll be flying over. Doing some seedy seed. There are four tours here. Well, there was four tours here. So it'll be some very nice suffocage. Cool. There's Jago still holding strong. Very nice position to spawn camp and everything that does come up. And at the moment, Red 4 are in the lead by like a thousand points. It is a uh, destruction. Good old destruction. Oh, of artillery from NATO. What do they have? They have some beacons. And I thought there were some mortars over here. No, oh, we have two sizes. Jesus, Kaisers, and a Mars. An M270, and then one. Oh, a lot of RT from NATO to pack. Really have any RT power? Yes, they do. Got some Misters, some Darners, some Cocosans. Joe side really bringing out the big guns. And he's just trying to get these uh, forces by. So, a tunnel factory entrance here. Is this actually a spawn point? Uniform. Yeah, it seems like uniform is a spawn point as these guys are just pouring right out of that tunnel. The Infinity Tunnel. Should be like a really wonkers um, float ride in there. It just keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> We're going Shrekky, nice position to cover the uniform hill. We have Peace Rhines flying over. Some ATGMs on the SUs. Not not the best target to really use an ATGM on. But we have uh, Fortress Jaegers behind enemy lines. So did manage to get CV in tango. But will this run Fortress Jaeger be enough to take out a Rust and Marine? We we'll have to see. Oh, wow, he's doing quite a bit. Oh, so he's still in the calm status. So. That's good. Uh, he's stunned him. And he sees this. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be really close. He's fat Bloody excellent. Everyone's using him now. Oh, the new craze. Oh! And there goes more Sokers. Fat Jaegers just. Surprise in my road once again. Some BTRs going around the hill. Do some flanky, flanky action. Do some infantry on the bottom here by Kilo. Once I move up into that area. Still bottom. Like, <laughs> Pact hasn't, or Blue Fall, none of the sides really taken advantage of this completely open ground with nothing to stop him. Blue Fort are going to bring a CV into Alpha so they can capture it, get some reinforcements out. Because if they let Red Fort capture this entire bottom side of the map here and not be in a good position. There's some territorial, some assault pioneers moving into Red Fort territory. Not directly up here fighting the good old Tamp Jaegers and Brown. I think we all know who's going to win the fight. Well, the resource is trying to get some seed out, but yeah, it's not really. Okay, those tours are, yeah, that's actually free bleeding tours. That's like 80 point sheets, very expensive AA to have on the field, especially that clustered up. You could easily get killed by a good old artillery shot. And speaking of artillery, we have that being dropped down on the Barantino. Now, they did actually manage to get the first Jaegers for a towel right in the open. And Red Bull moving up into Kilo. We do have an SP 40s. They have spotted his M. It's a little Jeep CV. 
and the superheroes will knock it out of their 14.5 mm machine guns. A bit of a helicopter movement over here, some MI8s and a recon helicopter going all the way up top. We do have a Huri, a uh, Huri, a Huri, a bloody, a Huri command vehicle flying into Yankee. Can try to capture the area. Didn't go too well with this anti helicopter helicopter here. Good old Chinese. Good old Chinese run. There's more Jekodakis landing in Great North. Uh, I believe they are North Korean airborne troops. I mean, just, just look at them. Their camouflage is just. look for, They kind of look like a walking hedge in a ray. That camouflage. Oh. <laughs> good old close up. And best Korea's infantry. Okay, let's see if he knocked out and the uh, red fort. I'm gonna be moving up into here. It should be very easy to hold down Kilo. It is a hill, so all we have to worry about is holding a few um, a few road points here. Yeah, it's in a road. I thought I that kind of looks like a road from here, but these are the only real two rays up into the area. The BTR 70, you never go up against the main battle tank BTR. Not really a good idea. Red 4 moving out the forces a bit more to Charlie, just slow advancement. Still Alpha hasn't been captured by Blue Force, this is not good. Yoss, you just need to press your unload button. He really <laughs> needs to press that unload button. Rod's going to be dropping in some Bideon special. Good old Napalm on the Mosh. And we have a little bit more of a push here from NATO, some SAS now, more so Pioneers, we do Spets now, and VDVs in the town, Kurchagers moving up top side, and all those MI24s in the nice position to support the infantry down there, yeah, the good old ground troops have BMP2s, holy crap Skyman, or Sky, Sky yeah Skyman, yeah, that's a lot of BMP2s you're bringing up, BMP2Ds, there goes Warmaster Edward, oh no, there goes Mr. Edward. MI2, some Scots, some B done, some more infantry transports. Moving up his leopard too, so he'll have to get some nice shots on him. If he wasn't facing the wrong ray. Yeah, he does see him and oh, MI8. Good old stun. This rocket's been really great now, just in general, just dumb fire rockets like that. As they have a little bit more of a, um, have a more tighter spread. So, the more rockets hit the target, the more chance of the target of being stunned. And a stunned target is a good target. You always want to fight an enemy that can't fight back. And Raven here, just being outseeded by just a crap ton of tours. These tours are amazing units. BMP2s, Afghanskis, almost directly up the butties, SAS and Territorials are going to have to find another area to invade as they're just getting a bunch handed to them on a silver platter. Peace Rhine's coming out, dropping in the peace in the form of two ATGM Mavericks, he's going to get shot down now while well, it does evac out here. Tornado DCRs is trying to get some good siege on enemy AA. Yeah, just uh, bring out so many silkers now. Tunguska here. Got lots, of, quite a few Tunguskas. Oh, we have a lot of. Oh, was that a nuke fuck? Yeah, it must have been a nuke fuck. It was a strike eagle dropping in. Oh, he didn't actually drop him in his payload. Yeah, good old thousand pounders there, completely clearing that town. There's more reinforcements are being brought up here. Packed or red for just bringing out, just grinding out the infantry. Now scores are pretty even now. Blue Four has managed to catch up, so it's all good goes to any one game. Not a man pad here for Leopard 2A5. Now it's in the open. Going up against a T72. Good old Leo. Good old Leo A5. Just a turret, the turret on that tank. Makes it look so alien like. But it's an awesome tank nonetheless, an absolutely awesome tank. Some rocket artillery, some Mars firing onto the infantry. 
There's my dog barking, I do apologise. And there they go once again. We have BTRs here. Seems like Red Four trying to move out back into November. But it's a pretty regally armoured force. Oh, a lot of rocket artillery, some BM-24s. Bringing them really close, a little, a little bit too close. But that rope matter, he is going to stop him. They are aiming. And they should be firing any second now. Any second now. Very makeshift. Have <laughs> I just completely sealed off the window and put the little view slots in it. Very archaic looking. And damn, you take a roll. One, one bar left. Any day. Any day. My happy teammate shares the ETs are moving up. And. I want to go and like shoot while he's going to use fire. And there we go. Rockets firing. And yeah, it's a crap ton of rocket RT. Isn't that actually not going to get the time bombs? Stun to muffery, but that's really about it. I really don't think it's a tackle rug to row. Strike Eagle dropping in bombs. BM 24 is getting out of there. Jackson in the nick of time. You know, that mate in the back does not survive. Poor little bugger. And the mid red four just. All I see are AA units. The silkers up in the butt. We have BMPs and lots of infantry. They're really just pouring everything they have and just run middle zone. Red four managed to capture the entire bottom flank. Yeah, I'm moving up under Alpha now. And you see, it's not really anything in Alpha. The only thing that is really scary is this run lone longbow. Good old Apache longbow. EGC moving up. Z9 as well. Very good old Kira snipe. Any of Diego Dankies are going to be trying to get into the forest. And them 60s moving up. Good old them 60s. Start seeing them a little bit more now. As there are some better runs and they're a bit more reasonably priced. Especially the Super M16. Absolutely great um a great substitution from using them run one P. Strike Eagle flying over. Does have really nice camouflage now. I just noticed it has some excellent camouflage work. The blues really just, the, the light blues really like stand out from the dark blue. And oh, we have a big push here. Packed all red for, I keep mixing them up, I do apologise. In moving up into India, yeah, we're gonna be invading it. The enemy just flies over, including the snook fark, just getting wrecked. Speaking of wrecked. <laughs> That whole red four assault just stopped, stopped right there. Yeah, just one row place bomb, or eight row place thousand kilogram bombs. And artillery as well, and that might have just saved their life. Oh, tell you what you'll see. BTRs moving up. And this assault might just go well. Even if this is like, this, this is like hardly anything. This is a really like the armored puss. But they're making quite a bit of progress. I'm quite amazed with how Mr. Puss, puss Mize is, is doing it. P, is it PST Mize? I have no bleeding idea. Is that? Where's all that rocket RT? Oh, four Lars. Bleeding now. That is, that is quite a bit. It's good old rain. Harry is dropping in some bombs. And Territory is still moving up. Lot of more 
strength we don't expect. A lot of nasty units. Or I don't think NATO can hold us unless they get another good bombing run. There's a lot of Vardy being dropped down there on this very clustered force. All those tanks is asking to get bombs. Giant balls lie on the ground. Territorials in position once again. Yeah, just holding it out for King Country. And yeah, just, they're being completely crapped on. Just gunfire up the butt. Damn, that one guy is really living. <laughs> it's been set up by a bunch of bullets and now he does go down. Oh, that's really being fired. Up top here, a bunch of resource combat. It's a lot of nasty stuff. Unless Pat can get a CV down here to neutralize the area, they won't be taking this. Yeah, they're all moving up on Alpha quite nicely. Yeah, that long power scan off a T80 UM. Ah, it does go down. What a, what a shame. You might only get some AA over here. Half time has been ellipsed. Has been elapsed. Lots of party. Make 25 BM. Trying to do the good old seed ins. Both sides here just really bring out quite a bit of seed to knock out each other's AA. Don't need more tanks, you need more AA. Bring up a QW, you could get that longbow. And this is really the bane of their existence at the moment. And they have spotted yeah, um, PT, PT 70 run, it does go down. More pissing up here. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. More bombs. Boom. Sakalaka right down the centre. It was after those nuke farts really just saving our life. More LT on Alpha. There is a really supreme player CV here. Just to neutralise point denying the mere reinforcements. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Bring up a T80 UK. Probably the best CV you can bring up for these types of situations. Longbow flying over enemy A. It does get shot down eventually. Paid for its shins. And just RT on the light, rifleman. Now, yeah, place is captured. And now a bunch of T-72s moving up. Frontline troops. A lot of NATO reinforcements here. A lot of APCs. And just slow but slowly but slowly uh, moving up into Alpha. Red 4 are currently not in the lead at the moment. Blue 4 oh, leading by like 2,000. Another longbow in the area. Trying to do some seed. There goes Rommel. The Desert Fox have left. Tell infantry so into uh, what is that? Tower Delta. I want to work out too. Right, one to Legionnaires here. Yeah, Blue Force is a really good force here. Like they could, you know, move up into Bravo or Quebec from the side. Heck, they could probably even move up into uh, Romero if they so decide. They have a really Nice position. That's a little bit surrounded, but you can turn that surrounded that that surrounded status to your advantage. And just a giant, just giant bleeding burst here from from Redfall. T80s, T72s. These light riflemen are going to run out of ammo. Or well, they're going to die for Steve Raw. MH being brought up for reinforcements. Won't be enough to deal with this nasty force. Oh, 
artillery and infantry being dropped. An A10. Oh, we got. We got to slow. We got to slow it down for the A10. Just the majestic play. Flies around slowly but surely, just eating missile after missile, gunfire after gunfire. Is it going to turn around again for a second coming? Oh, it's Sal. It's Sal. It's Mavericks ready to engage any filthy communists. And there goes Run. But it does miss. Tunguska fire in array. A10 dropping flares flying out. But he's going to come back once again, the A10. And now he's just going to evac the majestic A10. Leave our side. And you have MH. Moving up, good old cavalry tanks. Particularly not my favourite tanks to use anymore, as they are 60 points, a little bit too much in the expensive side. But hey, they are still very nice tanks. Or cavalry tanks. You see a very fast firing gun, very fast lock on, good, great stabilisers, I believe. You see the pop and oh, MI24. Yeah, MI24s are usually cavalry tanks, Bane. As the ATGM so just rip up into you. And no matter what people say, the hind is still brilliant in this game. KA50 has not completely replaced it. And you have Red Forpus into November. Yeah, uh, Blue 4 at 70%. Legion's moving up, CT85s. Good old Chinese force. Patchfagers on the hill. So Tengis. My twos, yada yada. In the middle it's just this is it's just mayhem. Whole town's just been burned up, blown up, shard to infinity. It's not a nice looking area and Lufo, amazingly I don't have um maybe down on the sectors. But they are ruined in terms of points. This is, this is destruction, and the only thing that really matters in destruction is your KD ratio. And Blue 4 are really having a good KD ratio at the moment. So it's a bit laggy. Usually happens every now and again. And I think the Red 4 4 to do it in November will be able to take the point. Who left IO's TACCOMs to find and rout out. And then the Rolands are retreating into the forest. But they're red for they're just they're just gonna need to get a lot of kills at the moment. They just really need to focus on the kills. More M8s being brought up. Now you see they're just ripping into your C72s. We do have reinforcements that's popping out of OFA to ATs, K50s. Those will be quite hard. Or quite good, quite good for Red Four. They can just keep bringing out more units. Man's into capture in November. Kilo's pretty much under control, and Blue Four are kind of surrounded at the moment. Not in the greatest position in terms of map positioning. But they are in a great position in terms of points. So Red 4 caps up to 80%. So slowly but sorely getting closer. It still could be anyone's game. This is going to be about who gets the kills. A10 flying around. Yagrai is getting intercepted by JH. Lots of rocket arty. It's stunning up the forces here. AA just uh, stingers and grow towels. Pivad. There's everywhere to shoot down any nasty and common planes. Bunch of pumas back here. This one seems to keep them alive. Draken flying over. Are they going to get killed by the Akful ones? There's so many units out. I forgot how big a 10v10 can be. Let's just zoom out all the way. This just. All the units you have to have deployed. It's lines and lines and lines and lines and lines and lines and lines of units. So much as he causing my frame to drop a little bit. Oh, he's 10 10 to always kind of crazy. 
MiG 27s flying around. Resource, lots of resource. Now is I just oh wow, he's just he's just buying AA. He knows what he needs to win, and that is AA. F eighteen. Trying to do some intercepts. And we have Red Four helicopters moving up into Anna. Is that Anna or Lima? Lima, Lima, that is Lima. Gonna be trying to get the AA, the artillery pieces. Yeah, he's bringing out Noah, or he's bringing out NMs, OHs. MiG 21 75 is in position now to intercept, in position to kill. No, he's an end. I'm gonna stop. Good old Norwegian AA unit, just an M113 with a man pad on top. But a very nice man pad at RBS, uh, RBS 70. Absolutely brilliant. Great now, land battle on great in this game. MiG 21 is actually doing. Ironically, doing some strafing runs on the AA units. And NATO is just so close to victory. So close. It's going to be anyone's game. J7s dropping in some kiddo bombs. Bada bing, bada boom. Aha. Great bombing run, yeah. Red Force still really close. This could technically be a tie, if it, both sides do manage to keep that at its current rate. Resource moving up. J7H. Oh, uh, get gets outseeded. NATO only needs 600 points left, really. If Redfall can get a CV, that'd be really nice, or just some other kills. Oh, nice Centurion AVRE position. Vigil intercepts in the mix. Doesn't, yeah. And yeah, roll B A G G is technically a draw, but NATO did get the most points. Just <laughs> crazy 10 v 10 as usual. Usually just uh, insane matches, just lots of kills, lots of units, lots of spam. Yeah, yeah, it was quite enjoyable. And oh, it seems like I did add ranks to a Red Dragon now. So yeah, it is quite cool, quite cool indeed. And uh, yeah, this has been another Rangaroo cast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.